Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Our brother, Nadeleu Farotimi, he said, Obi, Labour Party, Nigerians, do not mind those who are trying to say the idea that we should forget about the Supreme Court and head straight and wait and begin to prepare for 2027. He said, it is a deceit, it is a lie of the century because they are afraid. That's what he said. He said, fear they cash them, their heart, they do peke, peke, peke. He said, because even if, for instance, say, okay, oh, uh, they've already prepared, they are already ready to ensure, say, you know, nobody get the true, the, the, you know, the result, the true result not come aside. He said, make we tell us something. He said, it will be evident for all to see, say, at the end of the day, Nigerian judiciary, they not get, they not get say. That means they cannot be trusted. He said, the whole world is watching. Everybody's watching and is seeing what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Dele Farotimi responds to the idea that Labour Party should focus on 2027 and forget about appealing to the Supreme Court. Dele Farotimi, a lawyer and one of the obedient presidential campaign council spokesperson, responded to the idea that some individuals have been making in the society that the Labour Party should forego appealing to the highest court and insist on preparing. Instead of preparing and positioning itself for 2027, they should stop wasting time and money going to the Supreme Court. The leader of the Labour Party responded on Monday via his Twitter page after a Twitter user suggested that the Labour Party should forego their appealing appealing the presidential election petition court ruling of the Supreme Court last Wednesday. Deliver Ultimi responded by stating that there are significant distinctions between the Nigeria of 2019 and the Nigeria of the present day. He said that we would neither leave the, le the things that are happening to just chance. Hashtag Leki Massacre. Hashtag answers. All these things happen in the country. And if the people want a change, we cannot sit down and allow the same people to continue to destroy the nation. He claimed that in 2019, the people were not as inspired as they are today. Peter Obi, God used him to revive and to bring a new fresh breath of hope into Nigerians. And so will not allow some selfish people to take that away from us we will arise and we'll go to Supreme Court. Whatever happened, we will see. Let's be optimistic. We will not give up or listen to those who are encouraging us not to go to the Supreme Court. So wake up, my people. Dele Farrow to me, Dr. Can finish. He said, Labour Party, he said, we go nowhere. He said, Labour Party, he say we go nowhere. That's as, as, as they talk about Labour. He said, they know they go anywhere. He said, because he said, they will stay. He said, they will stay and they will get you know, the very results, they will get it. He said, because right about now, he said, what did they happen? It's not they right at all. How can you, okay? How can you say people should, there is opportunity to go to the Supreme Court. Say me they not go to Supreme Court. Say me they stay. Say me they just did it like that. Say no, no, they don't need to go to Supreme Court. He said, no, no, no. He said they will go to Supreme Court. Even if there is lies, let's see what they will say. Let's see how the lies will go. If there is truth, let's see how the truth will go. Let's see how things will, will work out. We will not uh, sit back there and leave things to chance. We will stand up and we will ensure that things are done decently and in order. So a lot of people, including Kwako, so a lot of people have been saying to Peter Obi and to Labour Party that they should forget about you know, this fight for going to Supreme Court, that they should forget it. They should let it go, that they should forget it. They should prepare themselves uh, for 2027 is around the corner instead of, you know, allowing themselves to be used, that they would rather stay, okay? They would rather stay, uh, you know, they should rather stay, forget it. Because going to the Supreme Court, I can, I can assure you for free, plenty money. Somebody say plenty money. Yes, plenty money. This just this appeal court that they've gone to, if you know the amount, hi. You go whole head, but uh, it's a quest and a fight for justice. Yes, it's a quest and a fight for justice. And so nobody wants to, you know, just allow things, just allow things to, to stay that way. Everybody, you know, wants the truth. If Tinubu has won, okay, and, you know, the court can convincingly 
tell Nigerians. It's not what the appeal court did, though. Because we, uh, people watch the appeal court, you know, matter. And the way they saw things, some people are truly, sincerely not happy. Some people felt that things could have been done better. Yes? Some people felt things could have been done better. So if truly, sincerely speaking, truth will be told, then we need, you know, the difference. We need honesty, sincerity, and we need people to begin to understand that there is, there is need, okay, for everyone to, to begin to move and this channel for the heights to get to the best position begin to arise now. See, because we cannot sit back there and allow the same thing to happen over and over again simply because uh, some people feel that they are the ones in charge and the other people, you know, they, they, they are just subordinate. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. It doesn't work that way. So these are some of the things that are happening. Uh, Daily Faro to me has responded saying, no, 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 don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Let every single person have an opportunity. Okay, if we say we want to go to the uh, uh, Supreme Court, yeah, then let us go. Don't try to talk us out of it because you feel... We shouldn't go. Why? What's your reason of saying we shouldn't go? Why are you saying we shouldn't go? Is it that we don't have a chance? This is not 2019 that, um, according to him, you know, this is not 2019 that they tell us not to go to court and we just accept it hook, like and sinker and we just go and, you know, take it, take a chill uh, pill and just relax. They said, no, 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 it doesn't work that way. So it doesn't work that way. So every single person will have to answer for the name and ensure that, you know, the truth is being manifested. So that at the end of the day, truth can become the essence, you know, and the watchword. So this is what is happening. This is part of what is going on. And every single person is beginning to ask, you know, that things are done, you know, in a more robust and a more, and a more truthful way rather than some way, you know. So these are some of the things that are happening. Uh, every single one of us needs to understand it. Every single one of us, you know, we need to understand it and ensure that things are done properly. Remember that Nigeria belongs to every one of us. And so if we want, you know, if we want this truth to be manifested, every one of us will have to, you know, get things done properly, decently and in order. Well, Nigerians, what do you think? What do you think? Farouk Timi has already said it. He said, no, that we cannot uh, continue to allow, you know, selfish individuals to, you know, to, to rule. We will, we will have our say. We will have it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye-bye.